welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing okay um today's video is a really exciting one because we've just had um a delivery well this morning we had the delivery of our travel system that we ordered um i'm 18 weeks pregnant today so i know it's quite early to be buying a travel system so when i say that i mean like a push chair um but it comes with like a carry cot um an older kind of like toddler seat or for sort of baby past six months and it's also comes with um a car seat in the isofix space so it's like the complete set for everything so that arrived this morning I'm so excited i haven't unboxed it yet because i'm waiting for tom um but like i said i'm 18 weeks so it's kind of early i guess to be buying this kind of thing already um but the offer online was just too good to miss we i've been looking online a lot doing research because i kind of knew what kind of things i was looking for in a push chair or a travel system because obviously i've used a couple before due to my job um and i kind of know what sort of thing i was looking for i definitely wanted a car seat that could attach onto the base of the push chair of the pram um but i also wanted that to be isofix and for it to be a swivel so to find a push chair that fits a car seat, which is also swivel, was proving quite difficult. Um, I also wanted to have a push chair that folded up quite small. Um, I've used an eye candy before, which I really love the way they push and the way they look. But I don't know whether it was just that model or whether all of them that I all of them are like this, but the model and the one that I had tried didn't fold up very well at all. It was really hard to fit in my car. I mean, I haven't got the biggest car, but it's not small. I've got a Golf, which is a family, I think a family size car, but we need to be able to kind of fit the push chair in there, obviously as well as Lily, if we're going, you know, for walks and things like that, or going to family's house when we're allowed. So I was definitely looking for something that was quite, could fold up really easily, was good to push on different terrain. So good to go on dog walks and go through like the woods and across fields and things like that. So I was looking for something with slightly bigger wheels. I know kind of a lot of them have bigger wheels at the back and smaller wheels at the front. And I was also looking for something that would also do just, you know, going along the pavement or going into the city and things like that. So I was kind of looking for a few things that I knew what I wanted. I obviously wanted it to be fitting with our color scheme as well, kind of like the neutrals, sort of greys, beiges and things like that. And I finally found one online from Mamas and Papas. It's the Yakaro. And I absolutely love the colour. I think it's beautiful. And um, we've gone for the colour iconic. And it comes with, I will show you. It comes with the Cybex eye size cloud, which is basically the swivel car seat that I was talking about. This is the Isofix bit. So you can use the car seat on the isofix base or you can just use it as like a traditional seat belt method but it obviously then also goes onto the the base of the push chair so you can just pop them clip clip it out of the car and clip it onto there if you need a quick trip or whatever so that's really exciting it the reason why we bought it already was because it was on on sale um we were really, really lucky that family members have offered to buy us this. They had said to us, kind of gave us a budget, um, so they'd love to buy us our travel system, our push chair, whatever that involved, whether that just meant the push chair side of it or whether it meant kind of the full set. But this was this was on sale. I think we saved around seven hundred pounds on this, so that was why I kind of thought, right, let's just go ahead and order it because I don't want to miss such a good deal. So that's what we've done. And it's arrived today. You could kind of pick a later delivery date, which might have been better, but I wanted to make sure that I liked it. Um, I want to set it up, try it, make sure the color's right, because obviously you can't see, you can't see it in real life at the moment. You can't go to any shops. And that is proving more and more difficult in Norwich anyway, because there's hardly any baby shops open anymore. Um, even before COVID. But obviously we can't go to shops right now. So I thought we might as well just get it now. A, I was too excited and B, 
at least then if it's not right I can send it back and I've still got a long time to figure out what we're gonna have instead but I'm pretty sure this will be good all of the reviews that I've sent online are great it looks like it folds up really well so today is gonna be the day hopefully that we try and set this up Tom's still at work at the minute I'm not gonna attempt it by myself I was going to but now I've got the boxes the one with the actual pushchair like base in is really quite heavy sorry I'm out of breath <laughs> um yeah it's quite heavy so I don't want to be lifting and trying to do that I think it should be quite simple but again hopefully this video will help anyone who's in the market for a new pushchair um set up is probably a little thing uh, that you can kind of consider as well so you can see how easy it is to set it up I'm, I'm not good at stuff like this anyway um but hopefully it will be quite easy let's hope I don't know because obviously it's all come in separate boxes so I will obviously show you the set and everything that's included a bit further on unfortunately I've just looked and the sale isn't on anymore so I'm sorry about that it is now back to full price I'm sure they will do more they lots of places do sales all the time on push shares and things this was from mamas and papas we actually did or i did a video call with somebody from mamas and papas there that's what they're offering at the moment because of covid you can't go into store so I do like a video call with you and show you kind of the products and stuff and she was showing me how it kind of works how to fold it down and all that sort of thing she's doing it all one-handed um, and it looked great so that's something to really consider if you're looking for a push share and you know that none of the shops are going to be open for a little while or you need it quickly that's a really good thing that was really helpful and that that also then meant that i could clarify a few things if they weren't clear online um, and we did go for all, like one extra thing and um, i think we went for the parasol extra which wasn't included in the bundle because obviously we're going to be having a summer baby so that's going to be really helpful for us to have the parasol but once tom is home we can get into this and I will show you all of the setup and how it works and everything like that. So I can't wait for him to come back home now. gorgeous pushchair here next to me as you probably saw in those clips it took us a little while to figure it out um not too long I think in total it's probably around 45 minutes which I don't think is bad it's our first ever time setting up a pushchair and it was relatively easy I think most of it was just us being silly we didn't look at the instructions we just pretty much just did it just ourselves just made it up um and just guessed it is super easy to move and sort of change but so there are a few bits on it that maybe are a little bit tricky um but i think we'll just get used to them and you know the more you use it the easier and quicker you'll become so like i said this includes this is the carry cot part that's on it now i think you can see it's in the shot um so we got a bundle which basically all of this came involved or came included in it sorry so that was obviously the, the space the carry cot the isofix base for the car seat the car seat which i think you could pick which car seat the bundle that we got as i said is the cybex icloud or iz cloud um i'm sitting, sat here rocking it like there's a baby in here um <laughs> and the car seat that goes with that and then we've also got i don't think you can see it but it's the toddler section which you've seen it seems like you can change them over really easily and really quickly so that's really good 
and for the most part it's a really it see i'm we're totally in love with it and it seems like a really good push chair pram travel system really good quality i absolutely love the colors if you probably couldn't tell by the interior um it just is brilliant um what i might now do is just show you a condensed like a, a kind of more in-depth version of how you do different bits on on it so you can kind of have a look see how easy it is like i said i'm still new to it and i kind of know a little bit about push chairs because i've used them before but obviously everyone is every push chair and brand is different but this is definitely the mamas and papas of caro and i'm really really pleased with it so far um, I love the wheels on it. I love the fact that they're swivelly wheels, but you can lock them in place. It seems so lovely to push. I mean, it's hard to tell indoors on a flat surface, but it does feel really nice to push. And it seems that the actual chassis base is quite lightweight. Obviously, when you've then got everything on top of it, it does it is heavier. But I wouldn't say that it's too heavy. You can still kind of lift over things. Most part, I'm kind of doing it myself finding it pretty easy I'm kind of imagining myself having a baby at the same time so you do want things to be kind of quick and easy and yeah just accessible so yeah what I might now do is just quickly show you a few little bits and features that I think are great um yeah and we can go from there <laughs> please excuse all the mess in the background that is just from the boxes from this so this is the carry pot like I said um it's really nice really easy I've got the wheels on swivel but there is just a button on the bottom that you just um, I don't know if you can see it but you just flick it round and it then makes the wheels stationed in one place so they're not swiveling and moving around but I quite like the fact that they move around you've got the brake on the right hand side it's just a push down for that one really easy to do with your feet so this is just the hood and the carry cot to move the hood you have to press two buttons but that is really easy just to then pull down and this is the like cozy toes type thing that just pops on and off like that um initially we were trying to put this over the base but you don't it just tucks in so that's fine and then you can just pull it up you don't have to press the buttons um i've also got um, a little cup holder as well here to put my cup of tea, coffee in which i'm sure i'll need once baby arrives um, to release the carry pot this is probably one of the easiest functions possible there's um, a lever at the bottom here at the base you just pull that and you can then lift this off at the same time I don't know if you can see but it's just a little lever like that so that is so easy to pull off it took a little bit more time to uh, set up the actual carry pot because it's flat you obviously you can flatten it if you want to put it in a car and you're short for space if you're going on a long trip or something but I wouldn't do that every time because you have to take the whole mattress out and fold it right up and it's a bit of a faff but obviously most of the time you just put it in the car like that so from here I'll now just show you how it folds up it's really easy there's a uh, little lever here and you just twist it at the same time which then means that the handle flips all the way over there is then a lever here that you just pull up and it then just completely folds in into the basket so that's why it didn't fold up completely have my little parasol in there but it just folds up like that um and it then clips so it's then completely secure um so it's not gonna unfold when it's in the car when you then lift it out it is completely clipped together which is great and again i think to do it you literally just press twist and pull this up but you have to um, remember to I keep forgetting but there's just the latch at the bottom to unhook so you just need to unhook that and I think yeah you then just pull it you don't even need to twist or pull that lever and then you just flip it over like so and it just already locks itself into place obviously I've got the brake on to prevent it from moving so that's so easy then we've got the sort of toddler seat um, which again just is supposed to just slot onto here which I think is pretty easy and you can hear it just clicked in so that's great um, sorry I'm just trying to move it around a little bit 
just so you can see better. This again has a really big hood. There's a zip here, which I'm not going to do now, but you can unzip it and it creates another panel. So the hood is then huge, which is brilliant. Um, you can also recline this. So again, there's another like lever at the back here that you just hold and you can then recline it. So you can have baby laying down, you can have at like different angles, it kind of clicks. I think there's a three point, yes, yeah, so that's kind of laying down and that's completely flat. So that's amazing. Like that, really easy. Not that far. <laughs> you can move, there's just two buttons here and you can move the footrest up and down as well, which is lovely. It's got a really nice interior. I'll just spin it around so you can see. Like really soft and comfy. You can obviously move this up and down depending on the age of the child. I think they can use this from newborn, but it has to be lying flat, but obviously it's not quite as secure and not as comfy as the carry cot option. So that's why we would go for the carry cot option. And then kind of once they hit six months, they can then go into this. This can be like facing me and it can be world facing as well. Um, so that's fine. There's then just two buttons here that you just pull and press underneath just to release it and I haven't actually tried it this way but I'm pretty sure yeah it just slots in that way so again it's actually amazing that you can have it both those ways and you can still recline it and what have you um you can fold this with this in it now this is the thing that I get a little bit confused about and now this is the other way it's going to confuse me even more so I'm going to just put it back back this way and I think I'm gonna I think I can figure this out so I think what you do is you pull this forward so it's collapsed completely and then you flip it round to this side so it's right flat down at the back you can then push and twist the button like you would normally do to fold it flip that over and then you can just grab this handle here which then pulls up and you can then clip it shut like so and it folds up something like that i think it can yeah that's just, it's now clipped i'll just show you it's now clipped into place here and it's not super light but it's not really heavy like i just was i was able to just lift it there um with not too much problem and obviously i'm pregnant at the minute so and then again i think you just have to release the button and you can just flip it up um, and then you just lift this back to where you want it to be you've also got the little bumper bar here which is brilliant i'll just again make sure you can see this little bumper bar which has a little button on the side so you can then take it off and it sort of swivels so you can move it to get baby in and out or you can just completely take it off. It's up to you. So yeah, removing it is really easy. Like that. The last thing is to show is the car seat. This is the Cybex one, the Cloud ZI size. But when you're doing the car seat, you just need to remember to put the adapters on, which come with all come with it included in the bundle right so you clip these on to the base these come in the bundle with the car seat and i guess so they're kind of facing sort of upright you can then just place the car seat on there and that just clicks in really easily there's two buttons either side of there just to pull this down um, and that is really that simple there is a lever on the back here which I think, I might just have to move this up again. But you can, which is what I love about this car seat, is because obviously if you've got a baby, you can't leave them for very long in a car seat because they're sort of curled up and they can't breathe properly. It's not good for their airways. But with this seat, which is amazing, there's a lever here, you kind of get it and pull it. And as you can see, it is literally just laid out this here so it's completely flat 
so they can have you know they can stretch out and they can be really comfortable and this is fine for them to then stay in if i was going on a long trip i wouldn't i would obviously put them in the carry cot or the other seat if they were slightly older um but it's a really good option you don't actually you don't have to stress about oh, well they're asleep in the car and i want to i don't know how long i'm going to be in tesco's or in the shop so you don't have to worry about that at all which i think is brilliant because you've just got that extra option that you don't have to worry about so that's amazing another thing that i forgot to tell you is there's just some levers here that you put both sides and you can then just pull the sorry i haven't got the brake on that's why i was using my foot and um, you can just pull these up and down to adjust to your height i would probably just have it here because this feels the most comfortable but tom might have it here or you know completely up to you where you want it so like I said, this was all included in the bundle. We've got our Isofix base, I haven't looked at that yet, but that will be in the car. And like I said, it's a swivel one, which is amazing. So when I say swivel, I mean, you can have the baby, um, you can move the chair. So since it's a car, you can move the chair this way so you can then put the baby in, um, rather than having to go round and put them in like this. So that's brilliant. You can put them in the car reclined like this. Um, that it has to be sometimes this is a little bit tricky but I think I'll get used to it um, it has to be like this in the car, they can't lay down it's not safe the other cool thing that I thought with this car seat is they have like these side bumpers which when it's um, in the car you pull these out and this is to kind of like stop or prevent side impact if you were Hopefully not, but if you were in a car accident, that is supposed to be an extra precaution. This is a really, well, <laughs> from the lady that sold it to me, she said this is a really good high standard car seat. So again, to release this, very simple, there's just two buttons. This is probably the hardest thing I would say to release. Two buttons you just have to press at the same time. And sometimes I think it's a bit tricky to do it and I don't know why but I think that's probably my easiest way coming at it at that angle and obviously you can just lift that off but you need to remember to take these off just with the little levers before you then put any other attachment back on so I'll just pop the carry cot back on the only thing we bought separately is the parasol um, we did try and attach it earlier it looks a little bit weird in the sort of what position to put it in but I'm sure when it's sunny and we know where the sun's hitting, we can just adapt it and change it to what works best. Um, this did, wasn't included in the bundle, like I said, we bought this separately. This is in the shade Iconic. Um, and it kind of has like the like trench coat buckles. And when you unzip the hood on the other one, it has like tortoiseshell buttons, which is really nice. But they don't have a parasol. Whoop in the shade Iconic, believe it or not. This is called Cashmere, this shade, and it's like very, very similar. So the lady just said when they were doing a bundle, this is what people had. So we went for this. But that is everything included in our travel system. Um, obviously we've got a few months before we use it, but um, it's lovely to be prepared and we will store this away. Um, we're really happy with it, so we're definitely going to keep it. I think it's really user-friendly, and it works pretty well for us. Um, it's not too big, but it does fold up quite well. Um, it's pretty sturdy. It's really sturdy, actually, and it's a really, it feels like a really good quality push chair. So we're super happy with it. So, yeah, hopefully this helps. <laughs> there are so many out there, and... There are so many that have really similar features. It's just about finding the one that you like the most, kind of the one that suits you the best, suits your lifestyle, um, what you like the look of as well, I think does play a big part. Initially, we were going to get a second-hand one, but like I said in the intro, we're really lucky that family has bought this for us. Um, and I even said to them, you know, I'm happy to buy second-hand, would just buy a new car seat, obviously because you need to be a little bit careful for buying second hand car seats due to kind of safety um but 
they were really happy to buy it for us which is just so kind um buy it brand new so like i said we've bought it it's brand new um but if we were buying it we would definitely look for second hand there are so many beautiful travel systems out there second hand that hardly look like they've been used because especially like these carry cot features you literally only use it for five or six months and then you move to the next stage but yes i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it helps <laughs> if you're looking for a pushchair and even if you're not i mean this would interest me anyway um and i just think it's beautiful and we're really happy with it so thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video <laughs>